Hello everyone for our coverage we've pitched up here in the Midlands of England we're at the King Power Stadium Derek Ray here in the commentary position and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case it's Leicester City up against Tottenham Hotspur Thanks Derek well both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here attack the game from the off impose your game plan and hopefully we get a good game And the game begins. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Wilfred Ndidi plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Harry Kane. And Hoybier with it. Kane, an alert piece of defending. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins this game in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Davinson Sanchez in the middle of the defence. And in attack, the always dangerous Harry Kane. Aurier. Throw ins given. Hoybier on the ball Reguilon Zoyunchu Timothy Castagna and winning it back Kane Son Lucas Moura, Harry Kane just had to keep his concentration to the maximum and he did well he's given a corner the referee no one able to do any damage with it and good pressure high up the pitch just couldn't get it through He might be able to profit from the wide position. Tielemans. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Iheanacho. And he's made headway. Body! And another one! Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. It's going their way, 2-0. Hoybier. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Kane. Well, as we can see, Leicester have hardly had the ball. But again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Vardy. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Shot attempted. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Ndombele. Well, not to put too fine a point on it. They're in a wretched situation. What can they do to rectify this leak? Well, the Tottenham coach must be pulling his hair out. He's desperately racking his brains on what to do next. 
things need to change. They need to change them quickly. Luckily, he's got half time to come, and it'll be a welcome break from this performance. Alert defending. Ndombele. Lo Celso. Well, untidy in possession from Spurs. Tielemans. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Aurier. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, the ball is moving again. No sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Spurs in the second 45? Moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, surely. And he opted for subtlety with the chip just over. Well, I wouldn't take the chip on, but he did. He's a bit unlucky, to be honest with you, Derek. Davinson Sanchez. Javier. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Iannaccio. Speculative ball fired to the near post. Not messing around with that clearance. Harry Kane. Lo Celso. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Really good high press. Son. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Corner kick played in. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, all, all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. Well, underway <laughs> once more, and this is not in the bag just yet. Spurs have made sure of that. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Well, disappointing end to the move. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Sissoko. Kane. And in with a real chance. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level. Well, here it is again. And all the credit goes to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions about the keeper. He's got to have that covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. And as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two. Sissoko. Lucas. Now, Son. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Moving it forward. Still could be dangerous. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. 15 minutes remaining. Counter-attacking very much an option. Kane. A really effective shielding under pressure. Vardy. And he's made headway. Vardy! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now 
they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, the and that might ball. well be the decider. Number nine, Jamie Vardy. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Well, it's a cracking atmosphere in here. The players just need to harness that energy from the crowd to see them through in this game. An incisive pass. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, the game over right there, if that goes in. It was so, so close. The overall situation doesn't favour Spurs, but they're still in it. Kane. Now Sissoko. An authoritative challenge. What can they do from here? And return to Vardy. Good visualisation and execution. Just needs to stay calm. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Tielemans. But it can't get through. Denied once more. And there it is, the final whistle. This will do nicely from the Leicester point of view. They get the victory and the three points lead. Well, split by that one goal. That's how close the game was. Neither team deserved to lose, really. It was so tight. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.